on your windows type sql plus you will get an icon like this double click that icon you will be getting your sql plus opened okay you can type in your username you can either type in a username called system system is the default user okay you can either type in system or together with installation we have unlocked a user called hr okay which has some default tables so for the time being i'll use hr and type in your password you will get your sql plus opened up start with dbms lab okay now since i don't have a blackboard i will be typing over here and then we will be uh, doing it simultaneously uh, on our sql plus now as of now uh, login denied ennu parayunu okay so you are just learning about what is a table you are just learning about what is a table so we will not start with making a table putting values into a table and all that we will be continuing with all that after you learn your theory part about details about a table now we will learn about a default oracle table now you are using the oracle 11g and in oracle 11g they have a default table which is called the dual table d u a l so until you learn your table creations and all that we will be working on the dual table okay now take up your sql plus now you might want to know how does your dual table look like so to check the structure of a table or to describe the structure of a table you have a command called desk describe d e s c so in your sql plus you can type d e s c dual now whichever command you type in sql it should end up with a semicolon without a semicolon you will have an error okay now this is the structure of my dual table as i was telling you earlier dual is a table which is by default uh, a data dictionary kind of a table available in oracle so it has only one field one field called dummy the field name is dummy and it is of a type called character varkar we will be learning all that later as of now just have in mind it has got a variable called a dummy variable and it is of a type called a character type now you will want to know what is inside the table okay so we have learned two commands we've learned a command called desk okay to describe a table and okay d is small anything will work but because you know uh, hit and enter it went caps anyway desk now to check the content of a table you have a command called select you have a command called select to see what is inside the table to show the content to show the content of a table you have a command called select now you even have something called star star means okay let's come back to our table look here you have only one variable over here called dummy or one column over here dummy okay uh, i will show you another table which i have i did create this table for your seniors okay look here 
here i have two fields i have an employee id and i even have an employee name but here i do have only one field called dummy so i want to find out what is inside the table so i write select star star means everything star means everything inside the table so here i'll just give select star from emp because you know emp is already a table which i have let's see what is inside the emp table okay as i told you earlier i have two variables employee id and employee name okay employee id i do have lots of numbers over here okay one column this i call it a column this i call it a row this is a row okay i've got nine rows and two columns so star means all the columns star means all the columns so what did i do i did select star from employee so all the employee ids and all the employee names got displayed okay so select star from the syntax is select star from table name okay here the syntax is disk table name okay and the tab with a semicolon how did you use it you simply wrote uh, disk dual this is how you used it and select you write select star from any table name okay now let's come back to our dual table i want to see what is the content of my dual table so i will write select star from dual it will now show me all the content of my dual table so you know i just have a content one column okay dummy dummy one column employee id i got two things over here that is why i got two columns over here and i do have uh, a dummy variable called x so these are the two very basic commands you want to learn one is desk to describe the table the next is select to get content from a table i use select star now let's come back look here i've got two things employee id and employee name now when i give star what happens is everything comes in together now i want only employee id so i write select employee id from emp which means i don't want all the fields i don't want all the fields this is a field okay instead of all the fields i only want a particular field called employee id okay i will end it up with a semicolon i will get only employee id okay you can use the up arrow down arrow so that you need not type commands every time ha huh? you can use up arrow instead of employee id i can write employee name which means you know i will get only the employee name okay if you want to make your screen neat you have a command called clear screen enter with a semicolon hit and enter you will be getting a clear screen okay so i'll write here select star it is select field name okay select the field name hmm? or you can even use star select star from employee we even saw select employee name from employee select star from dual so these are a few commands which we learned today we learned a few basic commands what is desk and what is select now until you learn table creation we will be working on a dual table hmm? now working on dual table together with that we will learn some oracle functions some oracle functions which are very very easy we will be doing oracle functions there are lots of uh, categories of oracle functions okay uh, 
പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ആർ കംഫർട്ടബിൾ ഇൻ മാത്സ് മാം ഒരു കാര്യം ചോദിച്ചോട്ടെ ജസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം യൂസർ നെയിം സോ നൗ വിൽ കണ്ടിന്യൂ വിത്ത് ഓറക്കിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് നൗ ദർ ആർ ലോട്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ഓറക്കിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് കാറ്റഗറീസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ആർ comfortable in maths you'll find it very very easy now i'll just list out the main categories of functions available in oracle you have a set of functions called numeric functions you even have string functions you even have date functions okay so we will be seeing all these one by one okay first we will be talking about numeric functions now what i will do now is i will list out a lot of numeric functions over here you have a function called abs to find out the absolute value you have a function called power okay you can take it down you have a function called uh, power you have a function called round Uh, you have a function called square root you have a function called exponent uh, you have a function called greatest you have a function called least uh, you even have a function called extract okay so these are the uh, or a few numeric functions available in sql we will be learning all that one by one as i told you earlier sql is not case sensitive the functions in sql are not case sensitive so we'll see one by one we'll first go for the uh, abs function abs means you know you will get to uh, see the absolute value now i'll first write the correct way of writing functions i suggest even you follow the uh, caps lock when you write uh, queries in sql follow the caps lock okay select now we are planning to do the absolute function select absolute uh, give any number i'll give a number called minus 23 minus 23 okay get me the absolute value of minus 23 now that's from part click and enter from dual okay you're working only on your dual table i'll tell you why i wrote it in different lines end it up with a semicolon and then hit the enter okay now why i wrote it in different lines is okay look here imagine i had an error i had an error they will correctly tell me where i have the error where i have the error i have the error somewhere just before from which is over here which means you know the line number they will quote okay so that is why you write it on different lines you also follow the same way in writing don't write everything together in a single line because you know if you have it as a single line error checking will be very very difficult so have it in the format which i have written over here select abs minus 23 from dual okay i'll just clear my screen i'll do it once again select abs minus 23 from my dual table okay which means i get the absolute value of 23 i'm getting the absolute value of minus 23 which is 23 this is my answer portion this is my field name now why do i have it abs minus 23 because you know the function name itself came over here i can do a, a bit of uh, things over here i can write over here let's say absolute okay abs okay i renamed it so what i did over here is instead of the column name to be abs minus 23 i am renaming it whatever you are renaming it give it in double quotes from dual okay i hit the enter hope you able to get the difference here i renamed it i gave my own name abs 
so that came over here if you don't give anything whichever is the function name that will come over here so the next uh, function we'll see is power and round okay so things are very easy caps lock you can do it yourself select power of let's say i want to find out 2 raised to 3 hmm? 2 raised to 3 i'll give it in a name called pow pow from dual from dual okay the power 2 raised to 3 is 8 that is the power function similarly i'll even do my round function round okay let's say uh, i have a 165.23456 okay i've given a big value over here and i wanted to uh, be rounded off up till two decimal points okay and then i'll give a name called denia okay from dual okay my spelling went wrong that is why f e l e c t f e l e l e c t select from from dual okay so i got it rounded up up till the second decimal position i give the name as denia whatever name you give that will become your heading or your column name okay so we have two more functions we'll see so two more square root and exponential i'll clear my screen it doesn't look good okay i'll just clear my screen okay we'll see square root okay select i always go wrong in my select spelling okay select try doing it yourself square root of a particular number square root of let's say 3 Um, and then i give a okay, okay a square root of let's say i give something called s square root of 3 from dual so the square root of 3 is 1.73 etc okay i'll do my round once again select rounding rounding means you know a uh, scraping away your decimal points so i'll just give 345.65444 okay up till the second or third the third decimal point so everything after your third decimal point will be done away with okay i'll just rename it less silfa okay from which table from my dual yeah. table so you know everything after my third position will be done away with okay. so i'll clear screen we'll go for the next function exponent okay we'll go for exponent select the exponent the exponential value of let's say 4 and then i give it in a name called e from which table from my dual table okay the exponent of e raised to 4 is 54 point etc okay the next function we have is we have a function called greatest ma'am uh, is uh, ma'am i select the greatest out of a few numbers let's say uh, 4 1 34 okay i'll need rename it as gt from dual okay so i'll be getting the greatest out of three numbers similarly i can even find out the least l e l e a s t least i'll rename it as l t from my dual table so i'll be getting the least value which is 1 the greatest and the least now together with that you have to even uh, learn something called system date sys date your system date okay so let's see how to work on the system date i'll clear my screen
select system date from dual okay so this is my system date 18th september 2020 okay now we will work on our last numeric function extract okay select extract a particular extract a particular value okay extract okay let's see it's a normally for uh, the commands lm dual imagine you have you are in your uh, hr and you want to find out what all tables you have you have a command called select star star means everything from tab tab stands for table okay now when you give this command what will happen is all the tables which are there in your hr database or your system database it will be displayed it will be displayed now you might see you might see all these i mean many things starting with bin all these are temporary backup tables okay at the end you will find a lot of tables these are the tables which are present in the hr out of which this emp table i created okay so when all of you you type your select star from tab you will be able to see a course table a departments and employees etc mm -hmm. etc et and if you want to see the content of that table select star from codes and you hit and enter you will be able to see okay codes also i think it is a table which i made let's say select uh star from departments departments is an oracle table your spelling should be correct departments okay now this is the data which is available in the department table of oracle we did till explain okay extract select you are going to extract now extract extract means you know take out something okay now let's say i want the year the year from where from my system date okay year from the system date from which table from my dual table okay i can even rename it just a minute i'll rename it uh, this year this year from my dual table i get 2020 why did i get 2020 because you know i have my system date system date is a default thing sys date from dual i do have 18th september 2020 the same way just like i did year i can even have let's say a uh, month m o n t h not this year i'll just give a tr whatever from dual okay month ninth month the september mama bracket dandu koduthu kaniya error varu you should have a bracket you should have a bracket okay the same way you can even have a uh, day date sorry day hour minute second all that is possible we are done with abs power round sqrt exp greatest least and extract so these are the basic numeric functions which are available in oracle next we will see about string functions in okay we will see string functions which are uh, available in before that we did miss out a few you even have a function called mod modulo modulo function you have a function called truncate i did miss out a few uh, floor floor we'll just finish off all that then hmm? floor and seal okay modulo trunk floor and seal we will finish off that also you know what is a modulus right the reminder you know select modulo let's say um 7, 2 7 modulo 2 is uh one right 7 modulo 2 from dual okay 
you get the modulo function 7 divided by 2 it will give you a reminder of 1 okay now we'll see a truncate function select a uh, truncate okay let's say i give, give a random value 1 2 3 4 5 point okay i just gave a random number comma 1 comma 1 from dual okay so you know the number is truncated the number is truncated okay uh, similarly you even have I'll just do the same thing again you have a function called uh, floor floor which gives you the just lower number floor floor from dual okay the just lower number this will be omitted and you will get the just lower number similarly you even have a function called seal seal will give you the just upper number c e i e l c e i l c e i l yeah from dual the just upper number the just upper number of this particular number so with that we are done with our numeric functions Uh, we have lower, we have upper, init cap, init cap, okay, substring, S-U-B, S-T-R, yeah, my spelling is correct, ASCII, please mute everybody, ASCII, uh, in string, translate, length left trim right trim trim you hope i'm not missing out anything left trim right trim trim l pad r pad okay size size in bytes uh, v size Uh, these size, yeah, that will do. So these are the, these are a few string functions which are available in Oracle. I'll go quickly. It's very, very easy, very simple. I'll clear my screen first. I'll clear my screen. Okay, we'll start with lower. Which was it? First one was lower or upper? Yeah, first one was lower. Okay, we'll go for uh, lower. Lower means to convert to lower, lower case. To convert to the lower case, you have a function called lower. Now, strings in Oracle are always written in single quotes. Strings in Oracle are always written in single quotes. So let's say I've got something called Rajagiri and let i be small okay and then mm, I give it a name called fn from dual which means you know it the things which are in uppercase it will be uh, where did I went wrong uh, fn oh fn it uh, there wasn't a double quotes over there fn from dual okay so all the things which were in capital it will be converted into lowercase i'll do the reverse of that upper upper rajagiri okay fn yeah fn from dual okay look here Everything which was in small is converted into caps. So lower converts it to your lowercase. Upper, it converts it to your 
upper cave. Okay. Uh, see, all these functions you can combine and write. Like, you know, you can write like this select upper fn. Okay. Convert to upper Krishna. Okay. Not only string, be it any function, you can have a comma over here and then you can write lower, lower. Okay, convert to lower what? Anjana. Anjana. Okay, and then give it a name called uh, FN. FN. Give it a name called FN from dual. So both things happening together. Okay, this got converted, Krishna got converted to upper, Anjana got converted to lower. Be it any of these functions. Be it any of these functions, you can give a comma, 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 and then combine them together and then write. Okay, so we'll go for the next one after lower and upper. We do have init cap. We do have a function called init. Ma'am, uh, one doubt. Uh, in bracket. We are doing the init cap function. Init cap. Let's see. DBMS lab. Single quotes, single quotes, end. Okay, xx from dual. Okay, now in init cap, what happens is only the first letter of each word will be in capital, remaining everything will be in small letter. Okay, so I gave you all caps. Only D was retained and the rest were made small. And here, the first letter of lab, it was made caps. So that is what the init cap does. Or, you know, uh, in other words, you can say title case. Title case. Title case happens in init caps. Okay, your word is converted to the title case. We'll go for the next one, substring. Se select sub string now sub string means a portion of your string okay so just give you a small example so that you'll be able to understand i do have a field called rajagiri a string called rajagiri now i should be giving the starting position i just give a random number three the starting position comma the length please have down the syntax in your book String, comma, starting position. Okay. String, comma, start position, comma, length. Okay. So this is how it happens. String, start position, length. So let's come back. From dual. Okay. So let's see what is happening. Starting from the third position. Third position is J. Two, a length of two is extracted. Starting from the third position, two are extracted. Okay, I'll just do another one. Starting from the first position, let's extract four. End from dual. Okay, so starting from the first position, a length of four is taken up. Next, we'll see ASCII. Okay, it gives you the ASCII code. What is ASCII? Hmm? American Standard Code for Information Interchange. It is just a, a coding standard. A coding standard. So let's say I give the ASCII of, you can give, let's say, F, ASCII value of S, and then uh, let's store it in AS from dual. Okay. The ASCII value of S is 115. Okay, it will give you the ASCII value of a particular alphabet. If I just clear my screen, it looks too dirty. A fresh screen. We'll go for the next function. The next function is INSTR. 
okay select i n f t r i'll tell you what it is i n f t r is the location of a substring in a string i n f t r is location of a substring in a string okay so let's see how to work on that okay i n f t r uh so let's say i do have a string called rajagiri kalamasheri kochi okay i'm having a long string rajagiri kalamasheri uh, kochi and i want to find out where do i have a k where do i have a k in this particular string from dual okay so look here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 only the first k will be caught the remaining will be avoided the first occurrence of a particular string i'll just rename it so that it looks pretty k occurrence okay k occurrence from dual okay the k occurrence is it is 10 it will find out the location the first location okay or the first occurrence the first location of a particular it need not be k okay i can even give like you know uh, k a perfectly fine k a occurrence sorry k a k a occurrence from dual a substring in a particular string it can be an alphabet it can be a string it can be anything only thing is the first occurrence here it isn't relevant here it is very much relevant the first occurrence only will be taken into count is translate i'll clear my screen in between because you know it won't look good okay the next is translate select select yeah translate okay i'll write the function first and then i will tell you what it is i'll go for the string same thing uh, rajagiri kalamasheri okay translate means it's like you no know, conversion okay so i'm telling here wherever i have r okay k and let's say a i just went for random things replace it with a star and ampersand and a dollar okay and i'll give it a name uh, tr i'll give it a name tr from dual okay i i went wrong in my quotes from dual okay so it's a bit confusing it's very simple look here wherever you have small r it will be replaced with star so rajagiri's rr it has been replaced with star 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 kalamasheri's r is also replaced with star wherever you have a capital k replace it with ampersand i have a capital k over here it's been replaced with ampersand wherever i have a small a i've got lots of small a's replace it with a dollar oh too many replacements okay so the, I'll, i'll make it simpler i'll make it simpler for you okay wherever you have an s okay wherever you have an s replace it with triple stars from dual okay wherever i had an s i give many stars but you know only one will be taken into consideration the first one the first one only will be taken into s is replaced with this first star so i had two s's over here both the s's it big it came replaced with stars over here once you understand this particular you will be able to understand this particular query can we continue 
Okay. Yes. The next one is I do have something called length. Length. Okay. Length is very simple. Select length. L e n g t h. You you'll get the length of a particular string. Rajagiri from dual. Okay. The length of the word Rajagiri. You will be getting it in a statement called length. Can I give a clear screen? Yes. Okay. The next is we will learn about trimming functions. We will learn about trimming functions. There are three trimming functions: L trim, right trim, and then trim. There are three functions: uh, L trim, right trim, and simply trim. So we'll see the first one. Select L trim. I'll give Rajagiri. Rajagiri. Trim means what? Trim means cutting away. Trim means cutting away. Okay. So from dual. So what I'm telling is the leftmost because it is L trim. The leftmost R cut it away. The leftmost R cut it away. Okay, so let's see another one. The leftmost A. The leftmost A cut it away. Okay, the leftmost A cut it away. It will not be cut because you know you do not have a leftmost A. Leftmost is only R. A is in between, so A doesn't get trimmed off. Only the leftmost, only the leftmost gets trimmed. So the same way, let's see even a right trim. Right trim, a from dual. Okay, they're telling the rightmost a trim it off. I do not have a rightmost a. It's very simple. I can't trim it off. But instead, if I give an i from dual, okay, that will be trimmed off. Rightmost i trim it off. It gets trimmed away. Okay. You can even give a string. It can be either a single character or you know a string. This is how you know uh, dot com and all. It can be easily trimmed away. Trim, trim. Let's say Tajagiri, Taj, Tajagiri. R. I'll just give an R over here so that you get to know what is happening. R. Okay, from dual. Just a minute. I'll just clear my screen and I'll show you how it works. Okay, now select trim. Now this trimming function it usually works with spaces. Okay. Uh, Select trim Rajagiri from dual. Okay, so all these spaces, these unwanted spaces, they are trimmed away. They are trimmed away using your trim function. Left trim, right trim, trim, trim trims away your spaces. Whatever is there in the beginning and in the end, both sides it is trimmed. Okay. When you want to Trim away spaces. You can directly give it like this. Let's say you want to trim something else. Okay. Instead, let's say select. Uh, I'll just give uh, X. Okay. If you want to give uh, trim away your spaces, you need not give anything. Let's say you have a lot of X's before and after. You have a lot of X's, and you want to trim away these X's from Rajagiri, which means you know both sides you have trim. So you have a keyword called both. You have a keyword called both. It can be either small letter or capital letter. You are planning to trim away X. You are planning to trim away X from which string? From a string called that particular. Okay, I'll end it up. From dual. So what happened is 
both sides x okay this x and this x has been trimmed now imagine you want to trim only one side x okay this side this particular side i can say like leading it is a keyword leading is a keyword you can write it in small or in caps or uh, whatever leading x from end from dual okay so you know only this side okay only this side x is be trimmed now you can have a small homework how do you trim away the trailing x is there in the word itself i told you leading x you trimmed away what is the command to do with your trailing x's trailing x's i'll quickly revise trim you don't give anything which means you know spaces will be done away with you can give character from okay you have a keyword called both leading and homework to do away with both your strings the leading strings and your homework string next we will see something called padding functions okay you have two l pad left padding and right padding so we will see one by one it's very simple and easy so select l pad okay left padding let's say i'll have my usual string rajagiri okay uh, i'll give a random number 5 comma star okay from dual let's see what is happening what is happening okay so look here r a g a g okay left pad just a minute then i'll tell you what happened uh i'll tell you what happened clear screen okay now uh we'll do l pad l pad okay now so why it didn't happen earlier is the number 5 you know only 5 five characters were taken and that's it so you know there is no space to do a padding so you know you give any number which is greater than the length of this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 no this is 8 give any number which is greater than the length of this particular string okay from dual it will work any number greater than the string so on to the left you will have star okay so let's say you give a 13 over here and from dual it will similarly right also similarly right any number greater than the length of the particular string so instead of um, star i'm giving a field called from dual okay so this will be a total of 13 1 2 3 8 9 10 11 12 13 4 total of 13 fields 8 will be your normal and the remaining 13 minus 8 you will be doing a padding so that is how you work on the l pad and right pad one last function v size okay v size will return the number in bytes will return the number in bytes so let's see how to do it uh let's say uh select v size okay select v size i give a string called rajagiri and then i name it in vz vz from dual so it will tell me how many bytes this word called rajagiri needs 
to be stored which means you know they're telling me rajagiri to get stored it needs 8 bytes so that is what this v size tells you the number of bytes which is needed for storage